All right, welcome, welcome. Today I'm going to be playing a new game. It's called Ravage Road. Uh, I'm not sure how this actually works. It's a skill tree by the looks of it. I guess... Pixel art. No, I'll do the tutorial, why not? Uh, hey there, welcome to the brand new road expansion manager. Hey, there you are, the brand new road expansion manager. Welcome to the team, you don't understand why you're here, I assume. As you can see, we completed the construction on this, on our latest tower of magnificent evil. This is where you come in. You are to direct, direct the construction of the road from which we will spread our influence of our beloved evil overlord. Unfortunately, this tends to be attract the attention of the locals who send heroes to try to destroy the tower. Okay. So part of your task is to determine where to build the road, but also hire various minions to build defenses. It's a dreadful inconvenient you should see when heroes attack our evil tower. If enough of them get through, the tower falls. Now, do be attentive when you plan the road layout. If you lock yourself into a dead end, you'll be pulled from this assignment. Let's start with the basics. To move the camera, WASD, and drag the middle mouse button. Let's draw some cards to work with. See the blue card, land cards you just drew? Your land deck is the bottom right. As an entry level your own expansion manager, you'll start off with one land card per turn, but eventually you'll want more. Press R to rotate the card to the right and E to rotate to the left. Line up against the little plan for your place, then click. So yeah, like that. A space for place on land tile, you see the only place on one land tile turn, and you can't land your turn until you do so. Next is hire some ruffians to defend a main tower. These goblins are due to fine for now, they're affordable. Like lands cards, first you click the card you want to place and hover over the location you'd like to place it and then click. Unlike the land cards, these goons will demand payment before they can be placed to build costs on top of the right corner of the card. You can see your current stash of gold on the top left of your screen. And now you have to look at the goblin card from the left. That one has an upgrade. You can hover over the cards and handle a little more. Upgrade towers are usually more expensive to build, but usually work the cost. We'll talk more about upgrade uh, tower cards later. When you select where to build the tower, the white circle will appear to show you where the tower's range. Pay as much attention to the range placement as to the tower itself. You could treat placement colors as much road as possible. Go on and let's get some goblins in position to defend the tower. I'll wait. And a quick return, you can see the cards you played last at the top of your discard pile on the left there. If you end your turn with cards still in your hand, those will be chucked into your discard pile as well. While you're ready, as ever, to end your turn, we can either click on the end turn button or hit the space key. I'll place another goblin there. Here comes the first hero. It looks pretty unimpressive, yes. The longer you build your road, the more of them will come. If you're ever unsure about just what you're up against, you can click the enemy for more information. Not so frightening, our existent Oversaw Lord has a bounty on heroes and will pay you one gold coin per enemy slain. I've heard some other road expansion managed to complain that bounty is the same regardless of enemy difficulty. One head, one coin, I'm afraid, that's the rule. And if they reach the tower, they won't get so much as a wooden nickel. In fact, most enemies when they reach the tower will make you lose a notch of the tower's health. The tower's health is displayed in the green rectangles at the top of the screen. If it reaches zero, then the tower falls. If you'll have to see another day. And likely manage another tower road since the concept of accountability is more of a hero thing. Well, let's see how this plays out. And at the start of the turn, you drew a new land card and you had potential boons. You can place the land before or after you play with built towers, there's three reasons to do one or the other. No strategy tip, you can hover the mouse over your defensive towers and see the area it can target to decide whether to build where to build roads. Land card is drawn in this round turning piece. Remember you can rotate with R and E. Please also remember if you turn the road in on itself and create a dead end, the mission will end in a loss. Okay. Go ahead, place the land tile. If you ever want to cancel out placing land tiles, hit the right click. Yes, I want it like this because. Excellent. While well, we have a hand of potential goblin, it's not enough to hire any of them to build defenses. Try to take turns. 
that sort of thing, if you can't think about several turns in advance, if you can't, now there's nothing else to you to do but end your turn. Okay, because if I had drawn an upgraded one, that would have been... And the game crashed. Let's try this again and hopefully it don't ca crash. But anyway, I think I got a good uh, grasp of the tutorial, so... I go with no. Okay, I managed to record this through good for you on this new tower build. Pick one, try not to waste it. I'll see how far I can push this. Let's do for now. I can equip your means with better gear for a price. I don't have the gold. I wish I did.
That might be, that could be good. I like that idea the most. Well, now I can't place him because it's not in my hand, but. Triple stacking like that should be powerful. Here we are. is pretty beast. I like the game so far, but... I haven't really got much to say about it. Right. 
So all I want to do is I want to get all four paths going next to each other. Now, I'm not really sure if these orcs are actually really good or not. Yeah, sure. Well, I guess that removed all goblin cards. Oh, okay, there's a boss incoming. No, I'm not getting the corner pieces I need. So I need at least three corners. Here we are. Also barely draw on this one. That seems like a good place. Yeah, there's not much to be coming on. I want to get some corners here and a corner there so I can just keep shoving straight roads down. If I get excess corners just on one of the edge ones. I 
I could do a wibbly path. But I really don't want Neowalks. After using a bunch of them, they're uh, not that great. I might be wrong about that, but... I'd just be using them wrong. I don't know what happened there. How did I not lose? I don't know, I have no idea what this bugbear does either. This seems very powerful. I see. Yes. Potion seller once unlocked will be able to sell blizzard spell which slows the enemy. really helped me too much. I think I'll do is get an extra land card first and work on this tree here. I'll try the tutorial again see if it crashes again.
That's actually false. Yeah, the tutorials definitely just has a problem. Uh, right, yes, yeah, so that was Ravage Road. I'm going to call that video there. I uh, hope you all have a good day.